Once more, it's Johnny Hunt, and you're watching the Cordial Ute video channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to learn how to play Chetnuga Choo Choo, which is from the well-known 1941 movie Sun Valley Serenade, starring uh, Glenn Miller and his orchestra. Um, there's a YouTube clip. You know, I don't usually recommend YouTube clips because all my uh, Facebook friends all are tell me which clips I want to watch. I know what music I like, so do you, so I'm going to break free of that a little bit here and recommend this clip to you. So if you go to the YouTube search page and type in Sun Valley Serenade, Glenn Miller Orchestra, and uh, Chattanooga Choo Choo, you probably get directed right to this clip. Uh, it's got a great rendition by uh, Glenn Miller Band, and there's a couple trivia things here. The, the bass player, of course he's not the true bass player, but in the movie clip is Jackie Gleason, and Milton Berle's in this movie, and Sonia Henney, who was an Olympic figure skater back in the 30s. Uh, the piano player in Glenn's band is Cesar Romero, who uh, I know better as, uh, he was the Joker on the Batman TV series back in the 60s, so that's just a bunch of trivia. But watch that clip, and then after Glenn Miller plays it, there's a couple fellas, the Nicholas Brothers, and they're really fantastic dancers i'm sure that uh you know you'll be amazed and amused these guys would jump off an eight foot platform and land doing the splits and you just kind of scratch your head and wonder how people can do that so anyway watch that clip if you're interested otherwise we'll just go ahead and learn how to play the song here because that's really why you're watching so it's in the key of c uh it's like the a a b a format and you know, the b part's in the key of f and it goes right back to c but I'll, you know, I'll explain. I'll go ahead and play through it. And this song is interesting because there's a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So um, you know, you, you'll get good at that uh, if you play it the way I do here. And of course, as always, feel free to improvise, modify, and tweak things around to your own liking. But this is just, uh, let's see, kind of provides a starting point for you to branch out and make this song your own. So here it is, Chattanooga Choo Choo. but that's how it goes sometimes and you just feel it and you gotta try it and even if you botch it it's okay so I'll go ahead and uh, try to explain whatever it was I was doing here so uh, we'll go nice and slow and talk about all the, uh, the intricacies and details so you can learn to play this sucker and have fun like I do so Chattanooga Choo Choo key of C and we're just gonna walk up here so we were at uh, open C 000x so we're doing the two middle strings, zero, zero, one, two, two, three, three, four. And now down around the top string. So open, second, third, fourth, third. Open fourth, and then the five, four, three. Open fourth. Third of the third, and then to a G chord, just pinching here, second string, second fret is your melody. Then we go to the third string, fourth open, 
Just alternating third up the third, fourth open, third open, second up the second, zero, zero. And then we're gonna do another line, pretty much the same thing. Open, open, two, one, three, four, not three, four, three, two, four, three. Third up the third, open fourth, second. So here's a pinky note. Second, third, fifth. Fourth open, third, third, fret. G chord. That's just fill stuff behind. G shape, uh, two three zero actually because our, our our melody note is open here on the fourth string. Just alternating. And then we're making a seventh, a C seventh, because we're heading to F. This is the A A B A, and like I said, the B part's in F. So here we go, uh, breaking into it with a C seventh. Three oh oh three, and then our F chord. Rather than two oh one zero, it's two oh one three because here's our melody, and this is the part where there's a lot of hammers and pull offs. So I'll just go slow and tell you where they are. So two oh one three, pulling off the three, third string first fret, and then we got the. So this is C seventh zero 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 three. string of the third for it. Same thing. Third at the third, I'm sorry, fourth string at the third, fourth open, third at the first, second open, and then our C seventh. And then back to our F, we're gonna make that into an F seventh because we're going to B flat, right? So it's the uh, two, three, one, three. Except the B flat we're going to is not here, not here, but it's here. So here's the hard way to make it, but it's a complete closed chord. And uh, we're at seven, five, six, eight. Or you can do it bar style, or you can just do three, the top three strings. It's a B flat, and I'm going to do it this way. Uh, melody on the top string, of course. So we're at the eight. At the no, what fret are we? The eighth. Eight, 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 seven, five. And then that's the only weird up the neck. Um, and be fifth position chord. And then we're going back to first position with our F. So two zero one three. All the melodies on the top. And then, actually, the, the chord change is the next beat, but you don't have to play the whole chord there. Or maybe it's the next beat, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So we got a D7 here. 202, and then the first melody note is a uh, chromatic note, top, top string, first fret. Then it's uh, basically a G chord, uh, it'd be a G add nine, I think. So melody on the fourth, and I'm doing it out of four, two, three, open. And then down to the third string, at the third, third fret, first. C seventh two zero two X. We want to put the brakes on and not pluck this top E string until we're ready to, and then we're gonna fret it. 
seven for guitar f7 two three one three and then we are up the neck slide jobby up here to our b flat which is seven five six eight two zero one three d seventh two oh two one Then we kind of got a blue note here. You can go either way. I like. Okay, so and then we're coming off the F and going back to A A B A. So we're on the fourth A, the fourth part. So we're back to the C, just like we've been doing. Three, and then I like to do a diminished here. Two, three, two, three, and again using pinky as an anchor. And then we're going up. So another C chord. So where, where are we? We're, just, we're not leaving the bass out, and it's seven, eight, seven, and the melody's on the top, and we're just kind of wobbling it back and forth. Seventh, however you want to make it, you can make it the three finger way, two, one, three, zero. Or you can just do the one finger infantile method, zero, one, zero, zero. And then we got a D seventh, seven, six, five, five, melody on the top. Just barring at the seventh, which makes it I guess that would make it G. So bar at the seventh, seventh fret, tenth, seventh, just the note at the fifth, and then we're coming home with a big C chord. But we're playing a lot of closed chords, so let's First find the right thread, or I think I ended up there when I was playing through it, but they're all good, so take it where you want to go with it. So that's Chattanooga Choo Choo, it's a lot of fun, there's uh, you know, some tricks there with the pull-offs, but uh, you know, keep working at it, you'll get good at it and you'll, you'll find uh, it makes it more interesting and fun when you throw in some new wrinkles. So uh, good luck with Chattanooga Choo Choo. If you get derailed, uh, send me a note. I'll try to get you back on track. That's pretty good, isn't it? So uh, Johnny Hunt here, uh, chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com is my email. And I'll try to get right on that and help you out. So have fun. See you next time on the Chord Melody Uke video channel. <laughs>